Kia ora, my name's Danny and I'm going to get you started with a little bit of Inkscape. Down here on the taskbar we've got Inkscape and that's what it looks like at the moment so if I click that it will open up Inkscape. It's going to come up in a small window by default which is what it does so I'm going to grab that and I can move this around just by clicking and dragging and I'm going to maximize it by hitting the maximize button. This is the interface for Inkscape. It's like a lot of in, uh, interfaces. It's got a drop-down menu up here and a whole bunch of things there like that and a whole series of tools down the side. It gives you a page in the middle and you've down here you've got a whole series of colors and these relate to any object that you might have on the page which we'll get to later um, and you've got a fill and a stroke which also relates to any object that you put on that page. This tutorial we're just looking at the page and the setup of it um, to organize the page and make sure you know how big it is, you need to go over to your file menu and go into document properties. This is where you set up the document. Okay, in here uh, it says by default it's at A4, but strangely the default units are pixels. Um, so what we would generally do here in New Zealand is we would change that probably to centimeters or millimeters. I'll go for millimeters here and we've got it like that. We can change it from portrait to landscape, and that alters it on the page there, and back again. Or we can choose a different page size from down here. So they're pretty standard ones there, so you can make it A3, or we can go back to A4, which is generally speaking what you're going to be doing if you're printing. Um, we don't need to worry too much about some of these other things, we can get to them later. Once you're finished with that, close that down, and you're ready to put something on the page and start navigating the document which we'll do in the next tutorial.